Well, a lack of testing supplies has been a challenge facing Huntsville leaders. The drive through testing site at John Hunt Park will actually not be open this week because of this. Our charity chambers has the latest. You know, yesterday we tested 250 patients. We would like to be testing about 500 a day. Uh, we are limited in our testing right now because we don't have adequate supplies. Today, Huntsville Hospital CEO David Spillers expressed major concerns about not having enough supplies to test for the coronavirus. I can't tell you how important testing is. Um, not having adequate testing supplies hurts, hurts our entire community. We need to diagnose people as quickly as possible so we can get them isolated. When asked when they will be getting the supplies needed, Spiller said it's all up to the vendors they use. We're at their mercy on that. They've been a good supplier to this point. I just think the demand's starting to exceed their ability to get the products wholesale, so that impacts their ability to get them to us. After Spillers voiced these concerns, he was contacted by Roche Laboratories. They told the hospital that they're confident they can meet their testing needs. Now, during this time, Huntsville Mayor Tom Battle says it's extremely important for everyone to follow the guidelines that have been set in our community. Last week, we uh, closed down our parks and we spent the weekend chasing people off of our parks. Teams trying to have team sports, uh, others trying to do other things, and we chased them, chased them off the park and, and, and they left and I believe we got the message across that our parks are not going to be open uh, for team sports. People just need to comply. I'm scared to death when I see what's going on in New York and New Orleans and some of these other places about that happening here. This is serious, folks. If we take this serious, we are going to be in a we're going to get through this thing. Putting the Valley first, I'm Charity Chambers for WCDX News.